let's talk a little bit about, about acoustics. And uh, we're going to start out by talking about what constitutes bad acoustics in a space. And before we do that, I think it's important to identify some of the acoustic parameters that define a space. Because we always think about uh, the most obvious is like how loud or um, in, in this day and age, and sometimes more prevalent is how quiet is a space. And that impacts the environment. The, uh, the, the classic that is happening at the moment with the background noise is the transition of private offices from, away from the facade where you have environmental noise from traffic and uh, so forth coming into the building. And you've got a lot of solar gain, so you've got a lot of HVAC activity happening at the perimeter. And we have a lot of interior offices. The interior offices obviously don't have traffic noise. They don't have much requirement for HVAC. They're extremely quiet. So background noise is is detrimental to a space if it's too loud, but it's also detrimental if it's very quiet. So that's the, the first parameter. The second is what type of surface finishes um, do we provide in the space? And again, there's, there's no right answer or wrong answer to this, but it's a case of do we need a product on the ceiling? Do we need a product on the floor to soften the space? And it's dependent upon the type of space that we're designing as to what is appropriate there. But in, in some in a simple uh, situation, if you look at a, a conference room, conference rooms do need soft surfaces for human interaction, but they need it more importantly for um, AV systems. Electronics are a lot more sensitive than the human ear, and what microphones pick up is very much dependent upon what we do and what we provide in those spaces. So surface finishes are also very important. Um, the third parameter, the last one I was going to mention, is what we call barriers. It's a question of walls and doors. Mm -hmm. So we've got a lot of open plan spaces, and one thing that we try and do in modern offices is give people private spaces where they can go and have that phone call. And so the walls and the doors and the, the barriers that we create so that they can have um, privacy are also important. So when we talk about bad acoustics, it's, I guess the real definition um, that I came up with is bad acoustics occur when spaces are designed that don't meet the user group's requirements. And it's very simple to say that, but it's what we do as acoustical engineers is trying to work out what each individual user group needs, because this is not one size fits all. This is not a black and white science subject. It's about delving into specific requirements and uh, responding to that. Mm -hmm.